It's no secret that many rappers are in gangs or at least associated with gangs, and this is not a new thing, but has been a characteristic of the rap community pretty much since it began. There's been a lot of speculation about the rapper Polo G and what gang he is in, or if he is in any gang at all. In this video, we will be clearing up this confusion and explaining exactly who Polo G is tied in with. But before we begin, please just take two seconds to hit that like and subscribe button and leave a comment giving us your thoughts about the video. We are an up and coming rap channel, and these things help so much to get our video into the YouTube algorithm and go a long way to growing the channel. Thanks guys, let's get into it. Polo G, whose real name is Taurus Tremani Bartlett, is an extremely popping rapper from Chicago, Illinois, who rose to fame in 2018 through their singles Gang With Me, which dropped on World Star Hip Hop, as well as Finer Things, which dropped soon after. From here, Polo G has since dropped countless platinum and gold singles such as Pop Out with Lil TJ, 21, and Rap Star, to name a few of many. Dude is a star and continues to impress the world every time he drops new music, which is pretty self-explanatory, as literally everything he touches gets millions of plays. So anyway, there's a lot of speculation about who Polo G reps, and let's start by saying that there was a very popular rumor that Polo G was a part of the Black Disciples, a gang from Chicago, after he tweeted, but anyway, GDK, back in October 2020, where GDK is standing for Gangster Disciples Killer. And the Gangster Disciples are the ops of the Black Disciples. The Black Disciples are a very well-known gang from Chicago, and a few huge rappers rep them, such as Chief Keef, Lil Durk, and King Von. This rumor was, however, shown to be false, as Polo G is actually from the Marshall Field Apartments in the north side of Chicago, and is a member of the 1300 Sedville set. From this set are the Vice Lords and the Mikey Cobras, as the Sedville area actually covers two areas, so there are two sets, who both rep 1300. From these sets are the 1300 Tim Tim gang, who are the conservative vice lords, and the 1300 Snakebite gang, who are the Mikey Cobras. Polo G is definitely a part of the 1300 Tim Tim gang, as first of all, he has a massive diamond chain that has the number 1300 on it. And secondly, he mentions Tim Tim in many of his songs and freestyles, such as in his song Man Listen, where he states, I'm from Offset, where we drop the rakes for the greens, and for Tim Tim, we throw up a T. The comment, drop the rakes for the greens, is essentially saying that he kills rake, referring to OTE members, OTE being gangster disciples and also ops of both of the 1300 gangs. This is pretty much why the tweet about a gangster disciple killer led to the rumor that Polo G was a black disciple, as they are the biggest known ops of the gangster disciples. So even though there are two gangs from the 1300 area, they have respect for one another, being from the same area. In honor of both gangs, Polo G even gives credit to the Mikey Cobras in his song 33, where he says, all of my guys banging, sees like we crippin'. Where similar to the Crips, both Polo G's gang, Conservative Vice Lords, and Mikey Cobras throw up C's. And that's about it. Polo G is a member of the Conservative Vice Lords gang from the 1300 Sedville set. We hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please leave a like, comment your thoughts, and subscribe to the channel. These all really help getting the video recommended to more people and go a long way for a click that takes literally one second. Thanks so much and see you guys in the next one. Anyway, in the meantime, well done for making it to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, why not check out another? You should see a few good ones on the screen now. Maybe you'll learn something new. I'll leave the choice up to you anyway. See you next time.